God, Morin Ham, and welcome to the Great Plague of 2020. Today we're going to double expose this model's head with a tree. So, let's get cracking. First thing we've got to do is isolate the model from the background, just in case she's got coronavirus. We've got to keep it isolated. So, if I select the selection tool, And, um, and then I can just use select subject on the top. And as you can see, Photoshop does quite a good job of it. So I'll just go to selection, modify, feather, and feather it by one pixel, just to get the sharp edge off. Then if we hit Control J, that will put it on its own layer. I'll turn off the bottom one. There you go. That's what we've got. So now we can position our way we want that. So I think we're going to next to wrong. So we're going to move it down a bit. Let's bring it a little bit bigger. Yeah, something like that should do. Right. And what we're going to do is I'm going to make a second layer. So I'm going to drag the model layer, then we're going to make a new layer, which will give us two. Now on the top layer, I'm going to put a layer mask, but I'm going to put an inverted layer mask on, which means a black layer mask. To do that, if you just put your finger on Alt and click layer mask, it'll come up black. Which means that everything's hidden there. There's nothing there at all. But I'll turn that off and say it's gone. Even though this layer's on, there's nothing there because it's black. The reason we've got two layers is to be able to see when I'm double exposing. So I'm actually going to be working, I'm looking at the second layer, but I'm actually going to be working on the layer mask on the first layer. Right, so the next thing we want to do is get a tree. Um, so we get the brush. And I'll go find trees. Ooh, it's using, yeah, that would be one. Yep, there you go. Right, so I think I'll take this one. And if I size it. Something like that. This isn't very, well, this very well, is it? And I'm on white, and I'm on the black layer mask. So I click. And you can see it's come on the black layer mask now. If I make this a bit smaller. And I'm click there as well. And what you should be able to see if I turn this off now is this is what we've got. You know, we can see that very well. Um, what I'll do is I'll just put a layer in between the, the two bottom heads and I'll just fill it with white. There. You see the outline of a face now? So I'll go back to the layer mask, grab my brush again, and if I make it really small, and I can just work along the edge. And now we need to turn that. And to do that, what you do is you click on it. On it, um, and it's this big round thing here. So if you just 
point it down, I should turn it 90 degrees to the right, so there you go. And then I can continue up here. Things you want to find, obviously, are all right. Oh, now that's you. Go. So there's the model double exposed with the tree. And what we'll do is we'll go to the bottom for an adjustment layer. We'll get our levels. We'll attach it to the model layer. And if I just I'll bring it back in a bit like move the center. The mid tone sent that over to the right, you just start on the down. So we'll get something like that. So now you can see it much better. Yep. Right, I'll finish with that. So I'll get rid of this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the background in now. Um, so we'll put this white one on, we'll just use this for a background. And I'm going to make it light brown and dark brown, just to match the trees. So if you go, yep, there's a nice one. So I pick a light color, then I get the dark one, the background one, and we we'll take a dark color. We change with fill, we'll put a fill by right down clicking it and go on the gradient tool. And as you can see, it's light to dark, and it's not usually it's on here linear, we we'll want it on radial on the second one. And then, if you click in the center and drag out the corner, there's a light brown and there's the dark brown. Yep. Of course, you can change that. Um, it is a bit on the bright side, so if you put another adjustment layer on a human saturation and attach it to the background, then we can control the background. And it's got too much color in it. So I'm bringing the color down. Uh, right. The model itself really. Needs to be black and white. So I'm going to put a adjustment black and white, attach it to the model's head, and this is what we'll get. I notice these bits here are really much too light. Now, what you do is you play around with the colours. You see, red, bring it down. Yeah, we should bring it down as well, yep. Yeah. The greens, I would imagine, have no effect. No. See my cyans and the blues, yeah, no effect. And the magenta's not much of an effect anyway. So we're going to drop it all down a bit that way. So that's looking pretty good. And where there's trees, there's usually birds. So we're going to put a new layer on the top. We're going to go back to black and white. I'm going to get the brush. I'm going to go find the birds. I've got bird brushes somewhere. Bird brushes, see. And what I'm going to do is look for. 
a nice flock of birds. Oh, never mind. He's right. I'm right. Okay. So I'm going to take number 23. There we go. And we're just going to stamp them on black. Well, I'm also going to do this. I'm going to make them bigger and just use this side there. But we need to get rid of the main because we're using too many of them. So I'll go to 24. And I'll just bring them up. Keep on that. And stamp them on. So they look all right, except that you have got a repeat here. Let me get rid of this. You have got a repeat here, which is this one and that one, see? So what we'll do is, we'll just erase. So I erase the middle one there, and erase the back one there. Totally different now. Yep. Right. Oh, and the very last thing I would do to this is put another levels on, and just bring in black from the white. Something like that. No, actually, this is all much too black. So I'll go back to the levels for the head. And just ease it back into the center bit. Something like that. And there you go. A model in a tree. Right, this is our name. The Socials Digital group um, website. Uh, it's for a really snappy tail. It's called Model Double Exposure 3. If you go there, you'll find, apart from the, the stored image, you'll find a written tutorial. And on the written tutorial, it'll also have links to the brushes that we used. Thanks for listening.